Hello everyone, it's Matthew from One Technician here. I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome back to today's video. So today we're going to be covering on how to move games from your Xbox app on PC to another drive. So what I mean by that is, let me just show you. So at the moment I've currently got Forza Horizon 5 installed on my M.2 SSD, which is here. And I want to transfer it across to my internal 1TB SSD, which is here. Now, for reasons you may do this, you might currently have a PC or a setup where you might have your game, for example, on your main hard drive, but you may have recently acquired another drive and you want to use that as a dedicated games drive, or if you're like me and you've upgraded from a hard drive to an SSD for increased performance, um, then of course this will be very, very good to do. As you'll notice, the game will load much quicker, and you may even lo notice that loading screens will be reduced as well. So, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off and do this the easiest way. Now, if you have searched for this before online or if you've done it before in I don't know, in the past on previous versions of Windows, it may have been a little bit different, um, but Windows 10 actually helps you move it with ease and much, much easier compared to having to copy files and transfer individual files and documents. It can be a bit of a nightmare. So what we're going to do, we're gonna, first off, we're going to go down to the bottom left here and you can, there's two ways which we need to do. So you can either go into settings by going to the search box here and just simply typing settings. And then you can click on settings up here. Or if you want to go into settings the other way, you can go to the start menu, into the Windows 10 menu, and then you can go into settings just here in the bottom left. Now once you're in the settings menu, um, we're going to go up to the search box just up here where it says find a setting. And we're just going to type in apps, A double P S. You will now be granted with a few options. So the one we're going to be going to is this one here called Apps and Features. And straight away, this will now show you every single application and any sort of games or any software that you've got installed on your PC. Now what you want to do is you want to take note of this search box just up here. So you've got search this list. Now there's two ways you can do it. You can either search for your game in here, which will be the most easiest way, or, if you want to find your game manually, you can scroll down until you find that game that you're looking to move. So I'm just going to do it the easy way. So I'm going to be moving Forza Horizon 5. So I'm going to type in Forza. And straight away it comes up right in front of you. Now when you click on this, you will now be granted with three options. So you have Advanced Options, Move, and Uninstall. The one that we're going to be focusing on is, is Move, just right here next to Uninstall. So we're going to click on this. And then straight away, you'll be granted with this little menu here. Now, at the top, you'll see that it currently shows us that it's currently installed on my M.2 SSD, which is where I want it to be. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to be moving it back to my 1TB SSD. So I'm going to select the SSD here. Now, if you do have multiple hard drives or multiple um, external hard drives as well, you may need to just be careful on which one you're selecting. So do be careful which one in terms of where you're moving it to. So I'm going to move it back to the one terabyte SSD. And you've also got this option down at the bottom here, which says also move this app's downloadable content. Now, if you have downloaded any DLC, any software or anything in terms of adding uh, items or anything to the game, that will also transfer all of that content as well. So you're going to click on move in the bottom right hand corner. And as you can see, the game is now going to begin moving and it may take some time because this game is 105 GB. And that's it. So as soon as you've done this and as soon as, if, and, and as, soon as this uh, bar at the bottom has gone all the way to the end and completed, that's it. And the game is now moved to your new SSD or hard drive and you can now launch it from that storage. It may also be handy to do this as well if you are trying to save some space or if you're trying to make space to save some content or files to your current drive. Or, like me, if you just want increased performance, you might be moving it from a hard drive to an SSD. Thanks again, everyone. Hope this tutorial has helped you. And, of course, please do like and subscribe. And if you do have any comments or questions, please leave them down below in the comment section.